Hello everyone, this is Matthew um, from Beekeeper Studio. I'm doing something new. I'm going to try and show some more um, in development features once a week. So we're on 4.0, but 4.1 is coming up soon. So I wanted to show you some features and let's get started. So the first feature is pretty simple. You can color code your connections, but currently like they don't do anything to this form. So in 4.1, we've added a bit of color coding to the form just to help you identify when you're looking at a, a production connection or a development connection or whatever. Um, here's a good example with green. I think this is a really nice little change. This was a community contribution. Uh, thank you very much for that. Some other things we're adding, probably the biggest feature in 4.1 is um, better table interaction primitives. Uh, what does that mean? It means you can select text like you can in a spreadsheet. So. Um, let me get rid of these tabs here just so I can show you a sec. So you can select text just like you can in a Google Sheet. So here you can select text, you can copy. We can copy as a bunch of different stuff. Let's copy as just regular TSV and we can paste that. And it just copies the text we selected just as you would expect it to do. Uh, you can hold, uh, you can click on the columns and copy the whole column. You can click on the rows and copy the whole rows. You can click and drag the rows. You can click and drag the columns. Uh, you can select the whole table, right? Just like in Excel. So this is pretty great. Um, and it just kind of works as you would expect, right? You press Control C or Command C and copy that text. You can go into a spreadsheet, you can paste it and it pastes in Excel and Google Sheets friendly format. So this will just paste perfectly into either of those tools. So if we go back to our table here, so this is a really big deal. This was committed by Asmi. He's one of our developers. He contributed this back to Tabulator. So this is outstanding on Tabulator. If you're a user of that library, you're going to get this too, right? This is this is our contribution back to them, um, as well as to Beekeeper Studio. So this is fantastic, and it should really help folks just you know get certain values out of their tables. And this also works with query results. So if we do select star from from film, let's do a limit. Great, and we can run that. We have the same, whoop, didn't mean to resize. We have the same primitives down here too, right? So you can select just these columns and copy that data and you can select, you know, I just want, I just want these uh, piece of information and we can paste those and just like before they were paste in a spreadsheet friendly format. So that, this is fantastic. I'm really excited about this. I've been, we've been wanting to do this for ages. Um, I just haven't had the time, and so oh, it's really great to see it happen. Uh, it, it sounds crazy to be so excited about just selecting text, but I don't know. That's that's kind of why. <laughs> I guess I'm just like that. Okay. Anyway, um, another thing that we've been working on is this sidebar here. If you have ten thousand tables or hundred thousand tables, this can be really slow to load, right? So it'll make you hang for like two or three seconds, and that's no good. So we've added a. Uh, this is all virtual scrolling now. So when you scroll this, it'll kind of page the tables in and not render all of them in the in the DOM. So this should be a massive performance improvement for those of you with a lot of tables. Um, there's a few bugs and stuff to work out um, with all these things, because this is a, again, this is a, just a preview, but this is all coming pretty soon. All right, so let's blow your mind again, right? So uh, I have this table, it's got a JSON column. Man, editing this is just gross, right? Like, oh. God, editing this is so hard here in this inline table. Wouldn't it be nice if you could right click and click open in a larger editor? Oh, there we go. So this is a community contribution. Uh, we've tidied it up a little bit. There's still a few bugs, but this just makes editing JSON like 100% better. Um, we also do a little bit of error detection. So if you add some invalid JSON content, it'll add it there and it'll warn you just to help out. Um, yeah, it's just great. I mean, it's just kind of operates how you'd expect it to. Oh. There we go. So, you know, there's still some stuff to work out here. <laughs> but uh, it also works with just large pieces of text and, oh, looks like I broke it. Yeah, yeah, okay. So this is the this is a pre-development version, folks. This is kind of what happens. But this will be coming uh, in the 4.1 release and really excited for it. It's gonna be make editing, working with JSON and arrays just a lot, lot better. Um, and oh, you'll notice that it was formatting the JSON when it's in the editor box. That will be a selectable option as well. 
Um, a couple of other things we've got to fix, like we have this problem right now is if you create a new row, like it doesn't properly make this green. So we'll be working on little stuff like that as well. But this one isn't very major, it's just kind of a small problem. Um, we also have an issue, uh, or we did have an issue in the release right now, is if you go to edit a cell and then you just click away, it'll show it as edited. So we're fixing that. Um, so these don't show as edited. I haven't edited these, right? So they shouldn't show as edited and, and they won't in the next release. Um, so yeah, that's it. Just a quick preview. I'm really excited for this release coming up. And uh, yeah, see you all soon. Thanks very much.